Here we are at my home in Minnesota. Um, it's, I grew up about 10 miles from here and uh, this is where we spend about six months of the year. I live here with my family. I've got uh, two boys, Bear and Micaiah. They're 10 and 13 and my wife, Kristen. Yeah, I think the main reason why we come back to Minnesota is just the, the lifestyle and the people. I think, you know, out here, it's just, it's a little bit slower pace. You know, wild raspberries everywhere you go around here. Being able to live in like the woods and teach the kids about hunting and fishing and that's the kind of stuff that I did when I was growing up. So it's, it's kind of cool that they have that opportunity to do the same. Just good old Midwest living. Oh, a little fix and repair daily as a dad. You gotta fix whatever's broke. I heard a wise man say somewhere that kids are just a reflection of the parents and I'm not really like a, a soccer dad uh, as far as, you know, like rah, 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 you're going to be a pro snowboarder and, you know, pushing them into that stuff. It's, it's like they're really interested in snowboarding and they love to skateboard and they love to ride dirt bikes and, you know, those are all things I like to do. We got a little homemade track here that uh, I started working on about 10 years ago when we bought this place. And, now the boys are getting really into it and having fun ripping around the track, so we're going to suit up here and go hit some laps. kind of built our lifestyle around the back and forth. Leave Minnesota once it starts to get really cold at Christmas and uh, end up in Utah and just get to go ride some pow at that point. Just uh, up bright and early, heading to Snowbird. We get on some early trails. Early up, courtesy of Snowbird. Enter at your own risk. Give a little bit of heart, give a little bit of soul for the best things on this material days. I'm on fire You know, there's a few things that really stand out as like what I enjoy the most in snowboarding. It's it's that simple adrenaline rush that I get on the top of a line right before I'm gonna drop in and get into that first turn. You know, that's kind of like the pinnacle as far as like being a pro rider. And the other thing that outweighs all that is when I see my kids having that same moment when I'm following them and like they're just so excited they you know landed their first 360 or you know, threw up a slash and ate powder and got to skip school on a pow day. I mean, those little moments really add up and get me through summer. Well, if it's when I was more than six inches, then you skip school. It's really rewarding to like be able to go up on the mountain and you know have my kids with me. When I was growing up, we didn't really have that. Our parents, you know, they skied and that was awesome that 
they exposed us to the mountains, but you didn't really see like fathers and sons snowboarding because the sport was so young, I guess. I think snowboarding has a lot to offer to young people growing up. It's, a, it's an outlet of expression. It's a means of freedom in a lot of ways. You know, I think that's really cool. I think people need something stabilizing in your life. And for me, that's, it's just, uh, it's my outlet to, you know, have basically freedom to, to feel like I'm not tied down to all the, all the headaches and the things that you think about laying in bed, you know. It's, all that starts flooding my mind and I try to think about jumping off a cliff or doing a backside 180 or something and it all goes away. I'm excited to be making another video part for sure. I still have tricks in my mind that I haven't put down in a video part that need to go down. I'm still out there pushing myself and the limits of, of my snowboarding or the non-limits of it. I, I don't think there are any limitations. It's all what you put on yourself. So I'll be out there, you know, while I'm old and gray, whether I'm sponsored or not, you know, it's, it's all about the love of snowboarding. Ha! <laughs>